So I'm gonna show you a quick example of a client that I did earlier on in the year. Typically what I like to do is keep everything structured and you can change things around, rename it how you like, but this is sort of how I structure it. I first off have my client project folder. And then in the client project folder, I have the name of the client and then the invoice number next to it. As you can see, I put a dash and the invoice number. Then what I do is I have the project name because if you have a client, you might have multiple projects within that one client. So you wanna make sure that you've got the name of the project and then the number next to it. You can put a dash or brackets, whatever you want. Once I go into here, you can see, first up, I've got everything numbered. So I like to do numbers. I just put two numbers or three and put an underscore. That just looks neat to me and it works on PC. If I double click on this first one, you can see like internal documentation. So this is where I put like the initial proposal or contracts and meeting recordings that we have all in here. So that's pretty cool. And I just put all the design files or whatever is in there. Then we like go on to the assets from the client. So the light clients might have some logos they have, the brand guidelines, they might have all that and any of like the content that I need or imagery that they send, I keep all that within these folders, which is really good. Keep everything neat. And obviously you can rename the folders the way you like it. Then I've got like the logo design folder. So typically you go by rounds like one, two, three. So you like go on the rounds and then you've got like option one, put the design files in there. And I've got a presentation folder in here as well. But typically I have the presentation folder here. So I'll put just the one PDF and then I'll put the date next to it. So you can see here, I've got like round two, round three, and the date next to it. That's how I name and organize my folders, just so I know which is the latest version. So I'm gonna go back. I'll go to the poster one as well. And then I have mock-ups, so I have a folder for mocks, as you can see. And then I've got like round one, round two, etc. that has the mock-ups in there. And that I'll use that for the presentation. I've got a template one as well. This one was specifically for this project. I had like a guide and export and a template as well, a PDF template. Got a social media file, so I've got the design AR file there. And then I've got a delivery folder as well. And this is like where all the folders are. I make it as simple and neat as possible. So for example, you can see here's the social media files. Here's the ones for the poster. As you can see, I've got digital and print versions. So if I double click, you guys can see that. So like that's the final design there. And typically that's what I have for the delivery section. So if I go back, so this is just a basic structure that you can use. It, it might vary from project to project. If I go back, you can see here, I can go to my projects and I've actually got a client template here that I've sort of used. I got inspired from the future as well. They have a um, good template. So they have sort of this and you know, I tweak it and use it to each project I want. So, you know, internal documentation, uh, in documentation, you got the assets from clients. So you can, you know, imagery, anything that, if, you, if it's like a big client, you'll probably need this, but smaller clients, you might need just one folder. And then we've got like discovery, where you put the deck and the recordings, you got stylescapes, you know, you might have different versions, which is really cool. And then pretty much similar all the way through, you know, you got the brief and the round one, two, three. If you don't have a team, you probably don't need a brief. It's just you, so you can take that out. And then the post to client, this is a good part as well. So like whatever you posted the client or send as a presentation or, or a deck. And remember to subscribe and like this video. It helps me out and it lets me know that you like this content. Thanks so much. I'll catch you in the next video.